In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up NiceHash Miner. This is a free mining program that you can install on your Windows 10 PC or laptop, but keeping in mind that it is used to mine cryptocurrency, so you do want to have a fairly decent system, especially when it comes to your graphics card. It will automatically detect the hardware in your system, and it is pretty much a case of pressing the play button, and it will start mining. So the first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below. I will put two links. I will put a link to the website, or if you want to help us out, then you can click on the referral link. So once you have clicked on one of the links, you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and press start mining. And you now need to go ahead and create a nice hash account. Once you have created a nice hash account, you can then go ahead and type in your email and your password, and then click log in. Once you have signed into your account, you will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and press select services. You can now choose which services you would like to keep enabled on your account. You can change these at a later date. I'm going to go ahead and keep all the currently selected options selected, but just keep in mind you definitely want to keep cryptocurrency mining selected. We now need to go ahead and press start using nice hash. So this is what your nice hash account dashboard will look like. As you can see, I currently have no rigs connected. So we now need to go ahead and press download miner. You will now have a few different options to select from. As you can see, the first option is nice hash quick miner. This is only if you have an NVIDIA graphics card or you have a nice hash miner, which supports all hardware. For this video, I will be using nice hash miner. You need to click onto nice hash miner and you then need to go ahead and accept the terms. If you do agree, you can go ahead and press I understand and you then need to go ahead and click on go to GitHub and download. As you can see, it does say you need to add NiceHash to your antivirus protection so it can run, otherwise it might block it. So I'm now gonna go ahead and get the download and you then need to go ahead and press download NiceHash Miner installer and you now need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we can then open up the folder location, which will be in your downloads folder, and we can now run the setup file. And you will then end up with the license agreement. If you cannot run the setup file, then you need to open up your security software. If you're using Windows Defender, then you can simply right click on the start menu icon, and you can then go to settings. You then need to go to update and security. And you then need to go ahead and click on Windows Security. And you now need to click on Open Windows Security. You now need to click on Virus and Threat Protection. And if Windows Security is blocking NiceHash, you will see it here. If you don't see it here, but you still can't run the setup, then go ahead and click on Manage Settings under Virus and Threat Protection. And you then need to scroll down until you find Add or Remove Exclusions and go ahead and press add an exclusion and go file and then you need to find the setup file which was in my downloads and click on the .exe and press open and that has now been added to be allowed in my Windows security. Just remember when adding programs to be accepted in your Windows security just to be very very careful because you don't want to go allowing a virus to be installed on your PC or laptop. So like I said, just be very careful what you are allowing. So I'm now going to go ahead and press I agree. And it will now begin to install NiceHash Miner. Once NiceHash Miner has finished installing, we can now go ahead and keep a run NiceHash Miner selected. And then press finish. And as you can see, before I go ahead and press finish, it does have a warning there saying minor software is recognized as malicious by antivirus software. Use it at your own risk. So, like I said earlier, just remember you are using it at your own risk. So, just be very careful when adding any mining software to your computer. Also, it is saying that you need to whitelist a certain location. As you can see, app data backslash local programs, nice hash miner, 
to ensure the binaries don't get deleted. So just be careful there as well. I'm now going to go ahead and press finish. And we now need to go ahead and agree to the terms. If you do agree, press I accept. And you then need to agree again. If you do, press I accept again. And you can now go ahead and select your language and then press next. And you now need to log into your nice hash account. As you remember earlier, you did register for one. So we can then go ahead and press login. Once you have logged into your account, it will begin to do some downloading and just check in all your hardware and everything. As you can see, it now says login performed successfully. Feel free to start mining. If I now press OK, you can see it's detected one GPU, which is correct. And it's also detected one CPU. If I go across to devices, you can see a bit of information about my system. You can see my processor, which I have an AMD 3600. And you can also see my graphics card, which is the GTX 1660 Super. Also, for anyone that's new to mining, it's a very good idea to keep an eye on your temperature. As you can see on devices, it does tell you the temperature of your GPU, what it's currently at. And mine's at 68 Celsius. As you can see, it doesn't tell me the temperature of my CPU but you can download other software which will tell you the temperatures. I do recommend you keep an eye on the temperature of your system because the last thing you want to do is burn out your hardware. If I go across to benchmark, you can go ahead and start a benchmark if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and press start benchmark just to show you what it does and what the results are. Okay, once the benchmark has finished, we can now go ahead and click on the arrow I'm going to go ahead and select my CPU first and you can currently see it's mining and you can see what it's currently mining and also what speed. You can also see what sort of Bitcoin we are expected to get in 24 hours. If I go ahead and select my GPU next, if I click on the right arrow, you can see the miner again and we can also see what speed it's currently doing. And you can then see what Bitcoin in 24 hours. And if we scroll down, you can see there are lots of different options there. If I now go back to my dashboard, you can now see it's mining. But to start mining, if I go ahead and just pause the mining for a second, you will then have your dashboard with a big green button. And to begin the mining, all you need to do is go ahead and press the play button. And then you will get some command prompt windows pop up and your system will then begin to mine. And that is how easy and straightforward it is to do mining with NiceHash. You can also change the name of your PC as well. If you want to change that, just click on the worker one and then give it a name. I'm now going to go ahead and show you the dashboard quickly. If we click on few stats online, it will then open up your web browser. Once your web browser is open, you will have a window that looks like this. As you can see, it's currently got my rigs, which is one. And then it's also got my hardware here. It's got my processor and my GPU. You can enable or disable the CPU mining here. And we can also stop mining on each bit of hardware. You can also change the power usage or the power mode of your GPU as well. Like I said at the start of the video though, if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, then I do recommend you use Nice Hash Quick Miner because you can get the better optimization for mining. So that pretty much does sum it up for Nice Hash. As you can tell from the video, it is very straightforward to install and you've got everything here. You can see what's going on. You can see your mining history. And it's a very quick and easy way to earn some cryptocurrency. So if you do want to help me out, then don't forget to hit the referral link below. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more videos like this. And hit the like button if it did help you out and you did enjoy the video. I will see you all in the next video.